I just talked about putting onion juice in your baby's ears or kids ears if they have ear infections and there's probably somewhere written in the law of the United States of America that I've done something illegal and I'm making a suggestion you know it's clinical but I've seen it work so I'm gonna stand by it other things that I've seen work um, is if your child has a immune system that's not doesn't respond the way it should they keep getting sick and stuff like that there's a thing called the thymus gland if you go to that little notch right there underneath Right, there's a notch and then there's a dip, right, like a lateral dip there. I don't know if somebody's going to get that. I may have to get that in a second. But if you go to that second, like it's about three quarters of an inch below the notch, and you tap on that, it kind of wakes the thymus gland up and it helps to enhance the system, the immune system's capacity to work. And it's just one of those things that's kind of soothing to the kids too. Like they'll lay there and, they, and you tap on it and they just get kind of soothed. And when they're done with it, they'll kind of brush off. Okay, and right? you can do that as often as you want as you're holding them, you know, and they're not feeling well. And another thing, another point, um, one of my babies, Ian, when he was real young, uh, had this fever, and it was late at night. It was here in Switzerland. Uh, we didn't want to take him to the hospital because I don't do that. And uh, so Nicole said, "Look, his fever's getting really hot." And I said, "Okay, let me just look and see what I can do here." And I started looking through my books, and. I found an acupuncture point, one acupuncture point, and the little heading was fever. So I thought, well, shit, let me try it. I took an acupuncture needle, and the, the needle, the point is, is right in between the two bigger bumps. If you flex your head down, there's two bigger bumps, and if you go right in between them, there's an acupuncture point in there, and it's kind of sensitive on them. I took a needle, I tapped it in, he flinched, the needle came out, and almost immediately, the fever started to drop so that I can feel them getting cooler. If you, if your baby is that, you don't have to stick them with needles. You don't do that. Um, if you tap over that spot or stop, and they'll, you'll, you'll see them, you'll find the right spot because they'll kind of get fussy around it. If you just lighten up and tap over it, a lot of times that'll be enough to reduce their fever. You know, other thing, if you take a cool rag and put it down, let, it, let their temperature cool down naturally, that fever is there to heat their system up enough to get over something. Right, so whatever that is, you want to let that fever go on its way and, and not let it get out of control, you know what I mean? Keep an eye on it. It gets up there. You're going to have to get them and get some anti-febrile medication, possibly. Uh, we've never needed it, but, uh, but check out some alternatives. Look at some things that are working or not working and, and uh, try them or don't. That's your option as a parent. Have fun. MICPeakPerformance.com. That's Mick McKenzie talking to you this evening. Bye.